Hi, this is Evan, and welcome to Wine Couch TV. With the holidays quick approaching, we thought we'd do something kind of different. I know that I drink a few more cocktails as, you know, as we get towards the end of the year and New Year's and all that, then I might be drinking wine. Don't tell anybody. But I thought it would be fun that we might bring some of that into our element of Wine Couch TV. So we're going to do a little segment called Cocktail Corner. Now on this show, what we'll do is, uh, is demonstrate how to make a cocktail, talk a little bit about it. Obviously there will be a wine slant. Um, we definitely want to have that in there and tie that all together, but we thought it would be fun and kind Kind of different. When we decided to do this segment, I thought the person that would be best suited to do that would be my good friend Charlotte Voisy. Now, Charlotte is an international gal about town. She's born in the UK, but now resides in New York and made a few stops along the way in really cool places like Buenos Aires and has traveled all over the world. But she brings her love and passion for mixology and for spirits to real life. And she's not only eloquent um, and a, a really good speaker, but she really brings it home and allows you to sort of get to know it better. So we're going to do it together. We're going to make a cocktail on this episode, show you how to make it, riff about it. Obviously, I'll be the wine guy and the straight man. And, um, well, let's just get going. Welcome, Charlotte, and thank you so much for being on the show. This is a particularly um, exciting thing for me. I love a good cocktail, and as we get towards the end of the year, I tend to drink more of them than I do wine, but don't tell any of my audience out there. (laughs) However, I will tell you that I'm an absolute buffoon when it comes to making cocktails, so I'm glad you're here to show us what to do, and um, you could tell us about what you're doing, and obviously my lone caveat was that it included wine at some level, so what are we going to do today? For sure. Thanks, Seven. Thank you for having me here. Um, there are actually a lot of great cocktails out there that do incorporate mm-hmm. wine. So your challenge wasn't really that difficult. Ah, okay. um, but what I wanted to make for you today, Evan, was um, a classic cocktail with a little bit of a twist. I'm going to prepare a New York sour, All right. Okay, which traditionally uh, has an American whiskey base, mm-hmm. a little bit of citrus, some sweet in there, and then topped with, in the words of Jerry Thomas, a snap of red wine. Oh, I like that. Okay, but oh. my twist, uh, coming from the UK myself, I'm mm-hmm. going to use a Scottish whiskey. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna, I've chosen the Glenfiddich 12-year-old single malt, uh-huh. which, being from Speyside, has a very approachable, light, almost fruity and floral nature. Right. Um, and one thing I'll say about a good cocktail is we always look to the base spirit to really showcase that flavoring character. So now, that's, now that's, that's terrific. Um, the traditional one is American, so yeah. more along the bourbon or a rye or something. That. Yeah. How does using a scotch change the profile um, of the actual taste itself compared to what was, I guess, an original sour? I guess the original would be slightly spicier mm-hmm. with more kind of vanilla notes. Yeah. As you well know about American oak yeah. and liquid, there's a lot of uh, interaction of flavor. So um, bourbon having a lot of vanilla notes from the fresh right. American um, oak with the single malt scotch whiskey flavor comes from different influences. Got so it. It's um, your first wine like, cue, the oak. All go. right, so All let's right. go ahead. Okay, so I started off ready. I prepared my mixing glass here mm-hmm. with two ounces of the Glenfiddich 12-year-old single okay. malt. And the next thing I'm going to do is add some fresh lemon juice right. into my cocktail and fresh ingredients I really couldn't tell you enough it's yeah. so important uh, for so a don't buy cocktail. that don't buy that sweet and sour in the oh. store and stuff like that anything Ixnay on the right. uh, you know? if it's got fruit and a sell-by date you know you should avoid <laughs> it so I got my citrus in there and uh-huh. then as I've said before a good cocktail is all about balance so I'm yeah. gonna balance the acidity with some sweetness and here I've got some simple syrup we're looking for about a three-quarter ounce of simple Got syrup. It. Now, simple there. syrup, is that something you buy in the store? Is that something we make at home? How does that work? There's really no need to purchase it in a store. You can simply make simple syrup, one part water, one part sugar, just dissolve some hot water, uh-huh. and uh, you're good to go. And that's it? That's it. Simple. Okay. <laughs> Hence the name, right? Okay, great. Um, now, the next ingredient, nobody fall off their chair. I'm going to put an egg white into the cocktail. A raw egg white. A raw egg white. Okay. And if you look at any of your classic cocktail books from the 1800s, you'll see that egg whites have been used throughout history. Mm-hmm. And now an egg white doesn't change the flavor so much right. of a cocktail, but it gives you a beautiful silky texture. So. And there's so many. I'm thinking in one of my favorite drinks is a classic Ramos Gin Fizz, oh. and you couldn't even make that if you didn't use it. It wouldn't be the same thing. It wouldn't be the same at all. And now you're making me thirsty. So <laughs> let's uh, get on and make this cocktail. So I have all the ingredients in the mixing glass here. Mm-hmm. Now don't panic. The wine is coming. All right. Um, but first of all, I need to shake this mixture okay. and get it a, a good hearty shake. So which direction are you shaking? I think I'm coming for you. So okay, you so I'm going to back wanna... up just there. There we go. <laughs> There we go. Now, see, if I had done that, it would have flown out of the room off camera or something. It happens to the best of us sometimes. (laughs) uh, 
So now I'm going to, with my Hawthorn strainer, strain this cocktail mm -hmm. over fresh ice uh -huh. into this beautiful tall glass here, a nice Collins glass. Uh -huh. And you'll see that the mixture just falls short of the top yep. of the glass because, of course, we need our wine. I was about mm -hmm. to ask you. I was sitting here going, huh, is she going to remember to get yeah. that wine thing in? Or I not? wouldn't do that to you. So what I'm going to use is, just with the help of a bar spoon, mm -hmm. it helps me uh, give a little float of the red wine on the top here. So. Uh, it prevents it from just sort of splashing in? Yeah, and you'll see that you get that pretty kind of... You see that? Ooh. So it's like it a bartender's to... trick, huh? mixologist's trick. I'm sharing some of my secrets with you today. I like that. So oh. now we have a beautiful looking uh, New York sour mm -hmm. with a Scottish whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to use a little some uh, some orange. It's a nice kind of warm citrus flavor, especially coming into the holidays. So. Yeah. Do I get? Do Don't I actually you... get to? Uh, uh, okay. Please. And for those of you who are familiar with the show, you know I always bring my little spit cup up. I ain't going to bring out the spit no cup for this one. No spitting allowed so. with the cocktail. So I hope you like it. Mmm. Oh, this is extremely. It's refreshing. It's balanced. And what I like about it, and to use your word balance, is I can taste the this, this scotch in there. And the choice of a space side one, milder, fruitier, clean. Right. Um, having the sourness, bringing that in there, balancing it out with, the, with the, the simple syrup is great. That little red wine float is actually not just aesthetically pretty, but it actually adds a nice little nuance. And I love the use of the egg white, mm -hmm. it, it's doing for me sort of like what oak does for a Chardonnay. It's giving it right. richness and body and texture. That's that's what it's all about, bringing the cocktail kind of together so the mouthfeel is, is quite yeah. extraordinary. Is that something that you guys talk about in mixology a lot is like mouthfeel? Oh, and things God, like yeah, that? yeah, yeah. We geek out about that. Sort of so you geek out, so I yeah, guess, we, I guess we, we, we geek out equally. We do. Um, and obviously the wine thread means that as you're thinking about this, you know, I mean, think about what sort of bar nibbles and things like that, some red mm. wine, a little, a little high acid. You guys know the drill at this point in time. Anyway, before we get out out of here we got to do a wine couch word of the week which will be kind of a spirity word obviously it makes sense for the segment so what can you tell us about straining straining is a very important part of the whole process mm -hmm. um, I alluded to, to it just a little with the cocktail there yeah. with the use of my Hawthorne strainer and really what this does is it keeps unwanted items in the shaker uh -huh. that don't go through to your drink for right. example the ice that is now obsolete through shaking you mm -hmm. saw how I shook pretty yep. hard right yep. you saw that thank you for not hitting me by well, the way I really appreciate that <laughs> I was trying not to um, so the ice I use in my shaker is now obsolete mm -hmm. it's broken down right. this ice here has another function to hold the temperature of the drink throughout the experience so that's very important you may also have if you muddle some fresh fruit mm -hmm. maybe some little pips of the berries yeah. that you never want to end up in your teeth yeah. so this Hawthorne strainer keeps those at bay got it yeah. got it well that's good information very helpful Thank and you. a little bit of something you will be able to get the recipe online here with us so don't worry about writing it all down really quickly you'll have it there it's been a treat this is a little different edge something we can do for the holidays I want to thank you tremendously for being on the show My I hope pleasure. you'll come back at some point please and <laughs> um, until then go out start making your drinks get a little bit of red wine make your New York sour enjoy the holidays and until next week you take care